Hi, this is Paul Roscoe. I'm with Joey Newton here at the uh, Kubota dealership. And Joey, uh, tell us a little bit about Kubota dealerships here in Okmulgee. In 2008, we bought Stuart Martin, which has been around over 80 years now. And Stuart Martin had a good reputation uh, when we bought it, but we've been blessed. We've been lucky, not, we've been not lucky, but we've been blessed to each year to continue to grow uh, in sales. Right now, we're probably selling five times more than we when we bought this store in 2008. And I owe all of it, first of all, to the Lord. And then the uh, other thing that's really made us successful is surrounding ourselves with good people. We've got good technicians, good parts people, good our secretary, she's just wonderful. And you don't see a whole lot of turnover here at this store. We get great people around us and they do their job and with working together we get, this store has become successful. It ain't me. If I had to depend on me, it, it, it wouldn't be, but it's the the people that we've surrounded ourselves with the and all. Then we was also lucky two years after we were here to bring our son in. Uh, he went to seminary down in New Orleans, but since then we brought him in and added a store at at Bixby, and it's doing real well. It's only construction, but it's doing real well. We've been blessed there on that end. But again, uh, I was told when I come here to Old Mogi. Uh, leaving a place that I worked at, at Grove, Oklahoma. I said, man, why did you go to Old Mogi? I said, because first of all, it's, 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 the Lord opened that door. But this shows you, not me, but it shows you that you work hard and do hard and do the right things. And, and, and uh, God will bless you and people will bless you. People has been just great for us here at Old Mogi. Uh, We've hoped we've made some changes here. We made some dear friends here, and uh, like I say, we we just feel lucky to be here. And you're enjoying being number one in the sales in the country. You know, for, that's how, always, for how long? <laughs> that's all, Paul. That's always your goal. You know, you want to be top, and that's that was one of our goals with to reach. We wanted to be number one, but also we wanted to do it. We're to do it. We have to treat people right, and I think that's what we're known for. Uh, we still give the family atmosphere here. When they come into this place, they can see the owners. And uh, we're not one that's two or three states away. Or we're one that you can see. And your uh, customer service, and your you said you're adding an extra bay plus another tech? There again, with great sales, it's gave us a lot more service. And... Uh, and we're running. I thought when I built this place, I built pretty big enough, but but seems like I didn't. And this year, we hope to, for the first of next year, add another bay that will give us five bays in our shop back here, Paul. No, uh, you got went from five employees to twenty, going to twenty-two employees. We, we started here when we bought uh, Mr. this. Mr. Greer, I'm on my board returning the phone call. We had. Uh, five or six employees. Mm -hmm. Today we've got 22 employees. That's good growth in employment here. Yes sir. Oh, hey, what about your buggy that you have here? Tell me about it. You know they say as a sales you always need a little gimmick. And every year we go to the Tulsa Farm Show and then I needed something there to get people's attention to make them stop just to talk about. You see sometimes we get them to stop and talk accidentally get them to buy something. We bought this uh, buggy at an auction. It was a beautiful piece and we first used it when we bought it at the Tulsa Farm Show and as people come in our building a lot of people asked about the question about the buggy but that's where the buggy come in place. We use it for advertising purposes and while we're talking about advertising I would encourage everybody to use Paul and Valerie at this old building network. We are. And it's doing great things. It's just another way that we here at Oak Mogi can push the uh, things that we do around here, positive things. You know, most news you hear negative. But Paul and Valerie has turned the news network and, and took the link and the web to another step. And 
making it positive. And that's what I like to hear, positive things. Very good. We appreciate the uh, words of kindness. Thank you very much. All we appreciate you all. Okay, tell me about your tagline. If it's not orange, it's a if it's lemon. not orange, you're a lemon. And I was telling someone a while ago, uh, our son took the patent, got the patent on that. But that's just a little saying that uh, was just come up. I don't know, remember exactly how, but that's that's our our logo. If it's not orange, it's a lemon. Very good. I hope to see you continued growth here. You're, you're a great success and a great here, influence here in Okmulgee. So can keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Paul. People's been good to us. Thank you. Thank you. Stuart Martin wants you to know that they service what they sell, and even ones that they don't. Visit Stuart Martin today in Okmulgee on Highway 75 or in Bigsby on Memorial.